Alrighty guys, for this week's main event, we are going to do a versus video between Hilti and Flex. We're going to go over the specs of these really quick and just see on how well these actually do against each other. Now, we are going to be using a 2.5 amp hour battery on the Flex and a 2.6 amp hour battery on the Hilti. We'll test out bigger batteries later. One thing that I realize I've been only doing for the past while is big batteries. I totally forgot that I got to test out small batteries as well. So let's go over the specs of these really quick and then uh, get to it. All right, so here's the Flex. This is a brushless motor. This is model number FX1371A. 24 volt system, quarter inch tex a collet, which I am gonna say I am I do not like that eject button. It's hard to get used to. They could have used a more functional uh, button for something else instead of an eject button because I naturally go towards the collet anyways. And so that's a tough habit to break. This has three speed settings. Speed one is 1900 RPM, speed two is 2700 RPMs, and speed three is 4000 RPMs. It does not say anything about the impacts per minute or the torque. I'll put that stuff in right now. This does have three, it does have two self-tapping modes. And so, yeah, so we will be using this on speed three. This is a pretty thick impact driver. I, one thing I will say, I do not like Flex's grip. It's like the rigid grip. You feel all the design. And so, yeah, I like the smoother grip, which Ryobi is my favorite grip and Hilti is number two, then then it's Makita. That is the Flex, 2.6 amp hour battery. Battery is full, I love that battery indicator on there. All right, and so for the Hilti, now this is a four year old tool. This is not new by any means. The, this model came out years ago, and I do think it's time for Hilti to upgrade this because they could make this more powerful, or more compact, and I'm hoping that they actually do in the future. The model for this is SID for a 22 Three speed settings, that on three. 2.6 amp hour battery. Battery is full. I love the battery indicator on how you, you don't have to, there is no additional buttons. The eject button is the, how you tell the level of the battery. So like I said, three speed settings. Speed one, 1000 RPM. Speed two, 1500 RPMs and on speed three. And wow, I am gonna say that this is 2700 RPMs on speed three and the flex is 2,700 RPMs on speed two. And the flex is, goes to 4,000 RPMs. So yeah, so I don't think Hilti is gonna do too well in this video. Uh, so yeah, like I said, Hilti, I believe Hilti could majorly upgrade this. This is a very old tool. So uh, an upgrade would be nice in the future. But yeah, I'll put the specs, I'll put the rest of the specs in right now. So that is the Hilti. So let's see what these can do against each other. Because of the low amp hour batteries, we're not going to do the extremely hardcore test. We'll save that for the higher amp hour test. Yeah, I don't like that collet that Flex has. I don't like that. As you see, the battery is full. It's on speed three. Ready? Go. Time. Right, let's do the Hilti next. Battery is full. 2.6 amp hour battery. So. Ready? A little bit, a tiny bit more. There we go. Ready? Go. Time. I am going to say this. Hilti does need to upgrade this. Uh, they might be doing that in the future, but we will see. But yeah, this uh, this could be uh, this could be a lot more powerful with Hilti's potential. All right, let's do. Let's take the flexes out. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, let's take out Hilties. Ready? Go. Time. Both of these batteries have uh, 18650 cells in them. This does not have 21700 cells. It is a smaller battery. Right, so next, let's do an 8-inch Timberlock. All right, so ready? Go. Time. That this impact driver is extremely loud. It is extremely loud. All right, let's do Hilti's next. Ready? Go. <laughs> Time. 
time. That, yeah, that is a lot quieter. That is a very, uh, a lot quieter impact. All right, so let's take flexes out. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, so let's take hilties out. All right, ready? Go. Time. All right, so next let's do a four inch by half inch lag. All right, so we're, we're using a Craftsman three eighths to a quarter inch adapter. Ready, go. Time, I think that's it, yep, that is it. Oh, and Hill Tease is a quick insert uh, collet. It is a quick insert. Ready, go. Time. Up oh, a little bit more, sorry. Time. All right, let's take out flexes. All right, ready? Go. All right, let's take out hilties. Ready? Go. Time. All right, and for the final test, we are going to do a six inch by half inch lag. Ready, go. It actually stopped, that should be it. Maybe, nope, a little bit more. Go. Oop, it and the craftsman survived uh, a video and a half. The craftsman three eighths to a quarter inch adapter. All right, I do have a, a magnet on a stick from Harbor Freight. Let's see if I can get that out. Yep, was able to get it out. If you get one stuck in there, that's how you do it. Just get a little magnet, powerful magnet, then it's going to be taken out. This one lasted a video and a half. All right, so we'll continue with the Makita. All right, so let's do this. Ready? Go. And actually stop that thing. Yep. So the, the Hilti has about, uh, let's zoom in on that. The Hilti has, I'd say, about a uh, quarter of an inch left. Just about a quarter of an inch left. Right, let's see if uh, Flex could finish that. I, I, don't, I don't like that collet. I really don't. That, that bothers the crap out of me. Because it's, it's so thin, like, especially if you're wearing gloves, that's not easy to get to. I, I don't like that collet that Flex did. It should, they should have made it a, a regular collet. All right, let's see if this could, uh, Flex can finish Hilties. Yes, it did. Time. So let's take out flexes. Let's try reverse. Ready? Go. Time. Right, let's take out hilties. Ready? Go. Time. All right, so just like I've been saying for the past year and a half, Hilti really does need to upgrade their impact driver because it's a, it is brushless. 
it's decently powerful but this could be a little bit more compact and a little bit faster with a little bit more power behind that but uh not too shabby both tools did fantastic for using a 2.5 amp hour battery and a 2.6 amp hour battery and so yeah so uh this channel also tests out low amp hour batteries to see how well they do then we do uh another versus video in the future to see on how well they actually perform with higher amp hour batteries because everyone knows that you actually do get more power with a higher amp hour battery and so yeah so both of them did stop with the six inch lag flex did stall and so it was able to continue afterwards but it actually did stop and hilti had a quarter of an inch left on the six inch lag and it wasn't able to finish it but both tools did actually stop with that six inch lag and that's because the the batteries right so the temperature of the hilti is 104 90 94 100 101 106 106 and the uh, flex is 99 104 105 105 degrees the flex is so not too shabby both of them actually uh we didn't do that much so if we did more these would get a lot hotter as you guys can see, the Hilti did get its butt kicked, all right? This Flex is a powerful impact driver. This, this impact driver was good years ago, but in today's time, it is not. Hilti really does need to upgrade that. I'm hoping that they do. Uh, I think this is four or, five, four or five years old, maybe more. And so, yeah, I couldn't get the exact year that this was, uh, that this was released, but I did see posts of it in 2017. So... Yeah, the Flex is a 2021 tool, 24 volt system, 22 uh, volt system. And so yeah, more versus videos coming to you guys because I will be, we will be uh, visiting this when it comes to bigger batteries. And so please subscribe to the channel, you guys. I got plenty of videos coming out. I got some, I got more Bosch videos coming out. I got Metabo videos coming out and it's going to be good. Uh, lots of changes are happening to the channel. Fall is coming up. So it's summertime right now. You know, a lot of people are outside enjoying themselves, you know, like doing whatever and fall time's coming up. So I'll be back in this garage more during fall. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be good. I'm, I'm still getting the garage set up for it. I still have a lot to do in here. I got the, the, this done, but I have a lot of stuff up there I got to do. So, all right. I am very sorry for not going live. Live is going to continue in fall. I'm just getting stuff, a lot of stuff organized and ready for it. So it's going to be good. I'm getting stuff set up for that. You know, it just takes time. You know, I'm a one man show. You know, I do this in my garage, you know, do this when I'm not at work. And so it, it, it's fun. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.